Good afternoon, everybody. It's 228, September 14th. Just got through uh, taking a dip out there in the Jordan River. And it's nice and cool, you know. But if you're afraid of fish, you definitely probably don't want to go in it, you know. It'll probably uh, cause a lot of people not to get in it, I guess. I don't know. You know, but... They're not, all they're going to do is try to get away from you. Yeah, it's pretty nice, actually. Anyhow, you guys, it's a nice place to jump in the river if you want to cool off on a hot day. And uh, what a time, you know. You guys, this is, it's an amazing place knowing everything that's going to be happening according to scriptures. And uh, one thing you got to remember, you know, the Lord... When he sends plagues and things down, it's spiritual. The things that are going to be coming down on the earth. He's going to punish. You can be sure of it. And uh, I had a dream about it last night, actually. And I had what was kind of like a tat, I guess. And uh, in this dream, it looked like, like, like plagues. Like it's going to be spiritual, but it's going to be probably death. Remember how it says the uh, horse it has the power of death? People are going to be dying of, of things that they're not, these so-called smart scientists, are not going to have an answer for. They're, just, they're going to probably come up with some name of something to call it something, but it's still going to be uh, high deaths, you know what I mean? And what it was in this dream was like a stink. A stench or something and when that stench came and you knew you could smell that stench it meant death and people were you know bury it bury it but that's what I was seeing in my dream sometimes these dreams are hard to understand you guys and then uh, I started having the uh, the one uh, that spiritual lust dream like you know where they they try to seducing spirits I guess that's what you would call it and then you gotta wake up from it and resist it and uh, you just don't go with it you know and that's how it happens you guys you know when they come up eventually that's what you do is you break away from it because you want nothing more to do with it you know and that's why you it says flee youthful lust you know, the things that we used to do and, you know, to flee it, to flee youthful lust. It's like it says in Daniels 12.10, many will be tried and made white, you know, and that's what's happening. And then we got to trust in the Lord to finish the work that he began in us, which he can do. He created all things and cleansing us of, of unrighteousness, the things that we once used to do that we're now ashamed of that we don't do no more. Oh yeah, you guys, looking at those dates across the street, man, those are about as ripe as they get, man. I mean, real ripe. You know, it's not fenced in or anything. And I can see one tree, man, that's real low to the ground. I think we should take a walk over there and take a look at it. Let us go. Okay, you guys, here we are. You get a closer look at them, okay? The darker they get, the sweeter they are. You know what I mean? Whew. Well, like I said, I see, you see how high they are. You're not gonna get up there and grab one. But <laughs> these things also produce when they're small too. Okay? See, there's a smaller tree right there. I seen one. That's why I said lips. See, even right there, look at that. 
but that tree's got a whole lot more. So, let's go where there's a whole lot more. Generally, they bag these things. And, uh, they're covered with bags. Why? I don't know. I could probably say something and most everybody would believe it. You know? Wow. They're actually pretty hard. They're actually pretty hard. But then when you get back here, see these darker ones, when they get a little darker like that, see they get softer. Hang on a second, you guys. Let us see. Whoa. That's it. Mm-hmm. Woo, man. Mmm. Mmm, man, these things smell good. They smell so good. And the, th the problem is, now that I did this, the problem is they're, they're, real, they're real sticky. You know what I mean? No, you don't know what I mean. Why? Because they ain't stuck in your hands. Wow. Unbelievable. Now. It's unbelievable. Wow. Man. You guys. See? When they get to where the skin feels loose on them like this. Watch. See? See how it just kind of falls apart? Where? Wow. See now, see those people are over there bagging some. They're grabbing them. See, they're low enough to grab. They got a, they've got a big old bag full. These things here, oh, they got them roped off to keep them from falling down. They're very tasty. I don't think I'm going to put them out of business by eating one or two dates, you know. But, see, these are ready for harvest. They're ready for harvest. There's a bag here, too, but... I'd rather go to the store and buy them. You know what I mean? They're already, you know, they ain't got to get your hands all sticky. Here, you can see where a whole branch of them fell. And they just left them there to dry out. But see, those are probably seeds. You see those people over there? They're climbing the fence to get them. Yeah, they're tasty. I don't mind coming, you know, trying one, but I ain't gonna get no bag and start bagging them up. It's unreal, man. These things are real tasty, man. Real sweet. That's how they got to be, dark like that. All right, now my hands are all sticky. Now, this is what it's like, you know, to, when you come over here and you taste one. They're pretty good. He's looking at them. They're just too far up to get. He's looking in the ground for them.
Anyhow. Let us get out of here, man. Hang on.